dudes, welcome to Medis Tech Circle here. Some of you guys asked me where they can install the official firmware for their Samsung Galaxy phone. So um, yeah, you can need or you need, for example, the official firmware to go back to Android Nougat. So if you maybe installed the Oreo ROM, you want to go back because you think that the official firmware is much stable or what can also be an um, aspect because you want to go back is when you install the Oreo ROM and um, you know okay in one week the official release will come and I will go to of the official build to install the update over the air then you will have to need the official firmware for your region for your carrier to install or flash via Odin on your Galaxy S7 Edge and then you can receive the um, official over the air update. Um, but that also works um, or you can also download the official firmware with, with this tool I want to show you in this video um, for your Galaxy Note 8, S8, also some um, older Samsung Galaxy phones, um, S4, S5, S6, also the A and J series are um, supported so every new or modern Samsung Galaxy device, also tablets um, are supported. So in the video description down below I will let some links for the tool. So the tool is called Sam Firm. Sam Firm. So this is the version 0.3.6 and um, this um, tool is discontinued so there won't be any updates. So um, I think this is the latest update but um, this version works. There are also other versions of this tool but they don't work as good as this one Be and this is because I want to show you this. With this tool or Sam firm tool here with this version I also downloaded the stock firmware for my Galaxy S7 Edge. So yeah, if you downloaded this um, tool from the link down below you will have an raw, um, an raw um, file so you will have to need WinRAR or 7-zip so there are many tools to extract um, this file so after extracting it in a folder you will have this folder here with the program so I would recommend to you to run this program in administrator mode so you start it in administrator mode and um, then it should open in some seconds so um, you will have to wait and um, yeah the question why you need uh, a stock firmware can also be not just because to roll back from a ROM to a custom ROM to an, the official build but it could also be that you want to make um, a clean install so a clean install when you have stock running and you will flash it again or update via Odin and wipe everything this will not void your warranty and um, yeah that's a clean install because um, it's really wiping everything from your phone and um, sometimes it's also solving issues when you are doing a clean install than just going into the settings and resetting it from there so this could also solve problems to flash it via Odin okay so here the tool opens Sam firm and you have here some things which you have to do so the first thing is that you have to um, select the model number so if you are not sure which model number you have you go to your phone about phone and then you should see your model number if it is, isn't listed there you can also download tools like CPU C, um, CPU Z you can also download apps like Geekbench and Tutu they will also show their your model number so you need really exactly the model number because for example I have the SMG 935F but there is also the SMG 935FD there's also the G935A, U, K. So there are many different um, models for one phone and it's, it's, it's important to know the exactly one you need because um, for example the SMG 935U version is the United States version with a Snapdragon processor and the SMG 935F is the um, 
is the model which is sold here in Europe but also in India and other countries. So that's important to note. Then you will have to select the region. So you can also find out this with apps also like um, Samsung phone info from the Play Store. You can download this app also there. I will also let a link down below in the video description. I will note how the app is called. And then you will have to uh, select the region. Because uh, everyone have a CSC, that's a region file code. And uh, for example, my mine is DBT. DBT is the free unbranded version in Germany. So um, it could also be that you um, live in, a, in another country and you have a phone from Vodafone or Telecom or another carrier or AT&T in the United States for example and it could be that, um, that yeah you need this region for um, because you want to have features like voice over LTE or some other features you have from your carrier network but if you want um, have a completely debloated free firmware without any apps from your carrier because it's annoying you you can also download of course the region free version and th this would work or that will work because um, this, this here is the most important thing just the model number you will have to select the right one but if you want to have the features from your carrier you have also to select the right region yeah so here you select um, or tick auto because this will search for the newest firmware. If you want to download a specific firmware, but really a specific one, you can select manual and then you can type in the PDA version and the CSC version and the phone version of the firmware. So that's um, something when you want really to um, install or download a specific firmware. But we leave it on auto and uh, then you will leave the, these two um, ticks here like this so decrypt automatically and check CRC32 and yeah then you will just check for the update and um, then it will say checking firmware for the SMG 935F DBT and then you can see that it found the firmware with the version G935XX and so on. So here you can see the version which was um, which this tool found. You can also see the OS or the operating system is Nougat Android 7.0 and you can also see the file name and the size. Yeah, so um, now you will have to click on download. Then it will ask you for a location where you want to have this file saved so you select um, yeah a location um, so i don't want to download it now because i already did and um, yeah here you can then see your speed of your internet connection and if it's um, finished it will decrypt automatically because we checked this box and yeah that's it so um, when you want now to flash your stock firmware you will have to open Odin. Odin uh, 3.12.3 is the version I am using. So uh, what you have to note is also starting Odin in admin mode because when you don't start it as an administrator this will occur or you, this can cause errors. So yeah here you will have the Odin program. So the first thing you want to do is um, to also find the location of your firmware and to, um, to, to extract the firmware in a folder because it's also a zip file or an RRR file, a RAR file so you have to extract the file first so this is important then you click on bootloader or VL for bootloader then you will search the location of your firmware so I know that mine is here under dbt and then it's really easy you will choose bl here the file which is beginning with bl so you double click you check it then ap 
but I don't want to do this now because it can take long because this file is the biggest one is it has for example here a file size from 4.0 no 5 sorry 4.01 giga so this is a really big file here the AP file and this could take some minutes depending on the um, specs of your computer so check just the AP file also beginning with AP of course then CP also really easy just the file with, which is beginning with CP you select this one and CSC don't do the error select this one you will have to select the home CSC DVT file this one you have to select but um, for example in the ROM the Android 8.0 ROM unofficial which I um, showed you in my last videos there it can happen that because the ROM has the CSC code from Vietnam that um, if you flash just home CSC it will not change the CSC of Android 7.0 so you maybe have to choose this one the CSC DBT and um, you're good to go so the CSC will be applied correctly um, under options you leave everything like this repartitioning is just um, worth if um, something is wrong with your device so if you have done an error in TVRP for example then you can use this but it's not recommended to use it when you are flashing the stock ROM like usually okay so that's it that was how to install um, or download first the firmware and um, how to flash it via Odin so um, now you are safe to go to flash the ROM and to go back and um, one thing I want to mention is that this tool is really nice because there are also sites websites like sammobile.com where I am also a user or a member but the fact or yeah the bad point let's say is that there you have just limited speed as an usual member if you have if you are a premium member and you pay monthly for it then you can go and um, have unlimited speed but as a usual member you will have a limited speed and this is so slow that it will take two hours or more to ins uh, download just one firmware so this is um, yeah the bad point of sammobile.com and that's because I showed you this tool which is really nice okay so that's it I hope you found this video useful if yes please subscribe to my channel that would really mean a lot to me I hope that we can reach the 1000 subscribers soon and um, if you have any questions leave them down below in the comments I will reply to them all and I hope that you will go or find my channel soon. Bye everyone.